Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the main glass top on your cooktop, be sure to turn off the power supply to the junction box. Unthread the screws securing the junction box cover and remove the cover. Untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the power and grounding wires. Loosen the conduit connector screw or screws, then remove the conduit cable from the junction box. Next. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to fully unthread the two clamping screws from the clamping brackets. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to loosen the adjustment screws securing the clamping brackets. Rotate the brackets inward, then tighten the screws. You can now lift the cooktop out of the cutout space in the countertop and set the cooktop on a sturdy surface. Using a quarter inch nut driver or a Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the 12 screws securing the glass top to the base. Carefully lift the old top off. Before you install the new glass top, confirm that the surface elements are properly positioned. Align the glass top on the base. Then thread and tighten the screws to secure. With the new glass top secured, set the cooktop upside down on a covered surface. You will need to install new protective foam strips on the underside of the top. Determine the appropriate length for the protective strips by aligning the strips with the front or rear edge of the cooktop. Then trim the strips accordingly. Peel one of the strips from the backing to expose the adhesive and position the strip on the bottom of the cooktop glass along the front. Position a second strip along the rear. Next, determine the appropriate length for the sides of the cooktop and cut the strips accordingly. Position the two strips. Now realign the cooktop in the cutout space of the countertop. Loosen the two adjustment screws and rotate the clamping brackets outward, then tighten the screws. Next. Thread one of the clamping screws through the outermost hole in the bracket. Tighten the screw against the underside of the countertop. Avoid over tightening. Repeat for the opposite side to fully secure the cooktop. 
Feed the conduit cable through the connector into the junction box. Tighten the screw or screws to secure the conduit. Now join the black wires together and secure them with a wire nut. Do the same to secure the two red wires together and the two white wires. If your junction box has a four-wire power supply line, join the green or bare grounding wire or wires to the bare grounding wire from the cooktop and secure them with a wire nut. If your power supply only has three wires, connect the grounding wire or wires along with the white wire from the cooktop to the white neutral wire in the box. With all of the wires positioned inside the junction box, replace and secure the cover. With the repair completed, restore power to the junction box and the cooktop should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.